Inside Fee Punters Club, James Frayne, Ben Travers, back for another week. Marto uh, out of action this week, but we'll send through his tips, and which is great because he's the only fucker actually tipping a winner at the moment. Frayne Train, how are you travelling? Yeah, unfortunately, the punters are lumped with us two and not Marto at the moment. Yeah, mate, he, he, we'll I, be all right. I think he's, um, he's accrued totals up like two grand and we're like fucking just begging for money on the street corner at fucking corner of Adelaide and Edward. Um, just in, in all sorts of trouble. Um, Frame train, right, the best racing's in Brisbane this weekend at Eagle Farm. I think it's, is it Kingsford Smith Cup Day or whatever that race is called? Um, last weekend, I officially had um, uh, more placings than Greg Norman and didn't even tip a winner. So I desperately need a fucking winner. Yeah, it's been a tough carnival. Has not been easy trying to find winners um, two weeks ago, it was all uh, Brisbane horses. Last week, it was all Sydney horses. So, not good. Not good. Um, right, we'll get stuck in. Uh, Sydney, Melbourne racing. I think you and I both have one or two selections in each. Uh, we'll kick off at Caulfield Frame Train um, racing down there this Saturday in Melbourne. What have you found at, uh, at Caulfield for us on Saturday? Uh, going to the last race and I'm with uh, number two, The Inevitable. Um, had a pretty good uh, campaign two campaigns ago. It uh, wasn't that great last prep, but got a good first up record um, and good at the distance. I think it's a great each way bet, 850, 270. Cool. Yeah, on, on its day, absolutely good horse. I just hope it's come back uh, as good as it, uh, it once left. So 850, little winner there for Freno. Surely you and I do. I'm going to blast yeah. out. I'm going to blast out of my situation with an all-time multi this week. An all-time multi. Uh, Caulfield race six for me. Number four Yonkers uh, back to Caulfield. I think suits. It's been in cracking form. Uh, I think the only danger in that race is Pacadali. Um, so I'm going to go race six, number four Yonkers at about three bucks, two eighty-three bucks, uh, depending on who you bet with. Obviously, play up. Um, so race six, number four, Yonkers. Uh, Frame train, so two selections in Melbourne. Uh, what did you find in Sydney for the weekend? Um, going with the shorty in race seven, April rain, dollar ninety. Uh, got beaten last start in a tight one, but I think it's better than the crop that it's racing against. And yeah, good barrier, Tommy Berry. Um, staying in Sydney this weekend. So dollar ninety, but I think it'll be winning. Chuck it in your multis. It is in mine. I appreciate that. Uh, so I've got two bets in Sydney. April rain was one of them. So that's an absolute certainty. Uh, the other one I don't mind, Frano, uh, and I prefer a bit more rain in Sydney. I'm not sure if we're going to get it, is race three, number one, Stockman. Uh, top weight, carrying 60 and a half, but finished off really well last start. I think the jockey might have been done for um, not riding it out or something, something like that, um, uh, or giving it fuck all chance, I think is the paraphrasing for that. Um, so I am going race three, number one, Stockman, and let's just hope Sam Clipperton um, uh, can give it every chance. Barrier five, should get a dream run just in behind the speed. Uh, pretty keen on it to carry the weight and win. Again, a heavy or... Uh, very soft track would be fantastic. So race three, number one, Stockman. And Frayne and I align. The world's aligned, Frayne. Race seven, number three, April rain. So it's an absolute certainty. Um, I've looked at Adelaide. I don't think I've tipped a winner in Adelaide since 9-11. So I am fucking just staying away from that. Um, so I'm just going to follow you, the, the Queensland guru, through after your back sea raider three months ago, $14. Um, it's been I, I really need another winner. If, <laughs> you can't keep referring to a, a well, horse from three months ago. It's, do, it's doing me no I good. Retired. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what, have you, um, oh. what have you got for us in Brisbane, Fran? This is your weekend. I thought last weekend was your weekend. I'm thinking this is your weekend. This this is my weekend. I'm going against one of my favourites in um, race one. I'm, I'm going with Profit. I think Profit will win. Uh, if Mousy wins, that's a foot through the TV situation. But Profit gets um, J Mac and J Mac Road, um, the favourite fashion L last start. So I'm pretty sure he's partnered with this one. It's got a good first up record. And a big reason that I want to back it is it's got a good record at Eagle Farm. 
and I really think Eagle Farm form, it'll be, I'm, I'm assuming it'll be a really good track. We haven't had rain for a while, so it might be a bit hard. And I think um, I want I want to be with horses that have got that Eagle Farm form and appreciate the harder surface. Yeah, yeah. I just looked at uh, some so situations. I'm not sure if there's been, oh, there's been a few deductions, but Profit uh, Open 650 is into $4.40. Um, yeah, it was four, four eighty this morning. So it's someone's, yeah. It's annoying because I haven't backed it yet. So yeah, well, I need to get down. Um, I'll just, well, whilst you're on race one, I thought uh, Fashionel was a very good bet. Um, and I think uh, Jay Carr, see, I, I, I real yeah, McDonald rode it last start at, uh, I think, Kenzo track on a midweek. Um, mm. But uh, I reckon Jamie Carr might have been booked on this a while ago. So I reckon Fashionel will go to the front uh, and stay there. And Profit will run second. So I'm going to take the... Actually, and then Mayozzi third. There we go. little trifecta for the first race, Frane Train. Um, so I'm going to go race one, number 10, Fashionel. Frane's race one, number six, Profit. Uh, back them both. Uh, have an equal stake and you're going to win, I would suggest. Maybe. like it. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it'll be good. It'll be good. Good um, head-to-head like we usually do. Find, yeah. uh, find a couple in the same race. Um, my next bet, I'm actually going out to race six. I think there's some really tough races in the middle of the card. Um, can't get that Anton at a dollar sixty. Um, that's poison. I don't reckon there's any value there. But race six, um, horse Tiger Heart. Um, the Boom horse is uh, fittingly named Prince of Boom. Uh, it's it's a favourite at four twenty. Tiger Heart won a. Sunday race up at the sunny coast against a good horse that Tony Pike had brought over from New Zealand and won it and won it well. And um, I just think at $17, four eighty, it's got a different form line. There's some Sydney horses, some Melbourne horses. Um, and I think that's good odds. $17, $17 and four eighty at the moment. Um, is, yeah. I remember that. Like a heart. I, I remember that Sunday race. I think it just led, led and kicked away and just made one by a couple yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's a pretty good bet each way. Uh, sadly, I also have a bet in the race. <laughs> um, and I'm going race, uh, where are we? Race six, number uh, 10, Port Louis uh, for yeah, Bar- yeah. Uh, Eustace. Um, this was backed. What race was it? Yeah. It was. It was that, the champ, it was a three year old um, race, or the two year old race um, at Rose Hill. Yeah, Captivant, uh, Randwick, uh, Captivant, uh, High Lale, uh, run one, two. This was back to into like $5 from, I must have opened 15s or more. Um, and Bowman sort of, I think it had a snag back, had barrier 14, there you go, and finished two lengths behind him. I just think he's got barrier 16 here, but he'll be fresh for this. Um, if he just gets three deep cover, which I'm sure he will in a horse of uh, a 17 horse field, uh, I think Bowman will pull him to the outside and nip, um, Tiger Heart on the line, uh, another exacta. <laughs> um, so race race six number ten for me. Race six number nine for Frano. Little head to head war. I'll do a little graphic up of like um, uh, you know Tyson and Holyfield, and I'll just put our heads on it, and um, we'll do that um, on Saturday at some stage if I get a chance. Um, what else have you found at uh, at Eagle Farm, mate? I had a good look over the Kingsford Smith Cup. It's not easy, like, went through them all line by line. And I reckon Savitiano, even though it's the $4 favourite, I reckon it's a good bet. It's got good, uh, it's been kept fresh for this. Loves a good good track, like, loves to get on top of the ground. Um, barrier's all right. Not, a, like, it probably will take a sit off Jonker and Savitu XL. Um, one of them's got a good barrier, one of them's got a bad barrier. So hopefully it's sort of in that... That next pair, uh, Gitra, obviously gun horse, but shocking barrier and it's probably going to have to go right the way back. Um, trekking, disappointing last start. Nicking over. Oh, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's up to these. Yeah, fucking nicking over. Oh. Um, and then the other one that I thought might be decent is Victorum. Um, doesn't mind uh, the track. Had a couple wins there, but I'm, I'm going to be with Sabatiano, four dollars. Mate, I don't mind it at all. I reckon uh, they'll go forward with Geetra. Actually, I think you're spot on. Jonker and Savitu Excel. 
I think Guitra will have to go forward because he can't spot Sabah to excel, uh, you know, seven, eight lengths because he beat him last start. Um, so I reckon he'll go forward. I agree. I reckon I don't have a bet in the race. I'm going wide in the quaddy, which will include Guitra, uh, Victorum, Sosie Bomb, uh, Vega One with Jay Carr on. I'll throw Nick over him because he's a fucking asshole. And Sabatiana. Um, so, yeah, I've got no bets there. But I think you might be right. Sabatiana just looks the obvious. Form lines are uh, impeccable. And as you said, kept fresh for this. Like, got nipped, nabbed by Colding last start. You know, fairly fucking good horse. Um, so, yeah, I'll, I'll, not a bad. Generally, you're finding value like Sea Raider, but um, $4 favorite franchise. Yeah, $4. I uh, know. Oh, well, the- hopefully. Uh- Tiger Tiger Heart can be our value at eighteen or whatever. Yeah, that'd be nice. That honestly could win. I reckon it's yeah. enough. I think Golan said it's not. It won't lead. It'll hopefully just get raced with a bit of cover there because it's it's a better race than what it's been in. And hopefully, it can get yeah. a good run into the race and unleash. Have you got anything in the last race, mate? Or I don't. That's me, Dan. All right, I'm going. I've done Port Louis. I think the Derby is a. Uh, I think the Derby's over. I just think Explosive Jack is just way too good for all of them. I can't find anything to beat it. Not one thing. Like it's a really long be, tail. To the be derby. a pretty amazing feat for it to no. win all of those derbies. Four derbies that he wins. So if he's travelled up all right and he's all good, he just fucking wins. I think. Um, let's crack a deal. Chased him home last start and uh, just couldn't get near him. I think he's beaten two and a half. I think the trifecta comes from Waller's Achiever uh, and Waller's Fortified. So uh, numbers four and 14 and Criminal Defence was pretty impressive last start. Gets barrier four. Um, but I just think Explosive Jack just wins. I can't, can't find anything to beat it. So I'm going race seven, number one. That's my best of the day. Explosive Jack to win the derby. And then I'm going over to the last uh, a horse we backed two or three weeks ago. I think she's been sold since, so she's changed colours. But race nine, number three, sweet deal at five fifty. Um, I can't believe it's five dollars fifty in that race. I reckon she's uh, uh, a much better bet than five fifty. I don't think it'll start that price. So race nine, number three, sweet deal. So Frano, my multi for the weekend. This is what I'm doing. I'm going April Rain, which we agree on. Yonkers, mm-hmm. Ayrton to win race three at Eagle Farm. Like you, there's no value, but I think it's a good stocking filler for the multi. And Explosive Jack. So that'll pay three by one, uh, about five, to, uh, it'll be about $30, $28, dollars multi, 100 on, three grand back. I'll be beating Marto. That's my game plan. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, we'll flash all those up on uh, social media. Have you got yours prepared there or are you just still? I, I don't. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to crunch the numbers to see how I can uh, get back to the positives and stop having yeah. to pay interest. Maybe a bank loan might be a go. <laughs> um, mate, I reckon the rugby league this week, uh, I can't believe the fucking Broncos won last week. God bless them. Yeah. Um, didn't have a cracker on them. Um, but surely they've got fucking no chance against the Storm this week. Uh, at seven bucks, so I'll leave that alone. I reckon there's a bit of value in a multi this week in the NRL. I think the Warriors can beat the Cowboys. I think Reese Walsh at fullback is a superstar. I thought the Dragons might be value against the Tigers. Um, the Panthers will probably beat the Bulldogs by about 224. Um, Seriously, I was going to make a case for the fact that there's, there's no way. Canterbury will lose this game by more than 35 and a half points. That, it, 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 like, tr- trust me, they will come out and they will go, they know they won't be able to lose the game, but they, they know they won't be able to win the game. But what they'll do is they'll try not to lose it by a lot. That's what I think. I reckon happen. there'll definitely be a penalty for time wasting. I reckon they'll be like just standing around picking their nose, just hoping the clock winds down. I just saw that line 35 and a half. Oh, mate, I reckon. The Panthers will keep pace with the clock for the first 20. I reckon it'll be like 18 nil after 20. Oh, so I reckon it's... Oh. That's a big line. Like if if, if um, Canterbury scored... Really two, good. Two, and Canterbury are really shit. I, 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 I'm, I'm aware. But, but I'm just thinking like if Canterbury get two tries, they've got to put 50 on them. And anyway, and like, you know... Are they going to... They'll know how shit they are. Are they going to be in the headspace? I just reckon it's one of those things where... The, they overreact with the line. It's it's just not going to be. Are you going to um, back Canterbury with thirty five and a half start? 
Yeah, I have to because I've said it now. <laughs> I'll have to be on it. And and you know you know who the other one? I know Canberra is shit, right? And they've had a shocking week with players uh, leaving. At, but the Roosters got beaten by the Broncos, and huh? half of their fucking squad got suspended for high tackles. Like, that should, how can they be a dollar twenty five? They they've got they've got like half a first grade side out. I agree. I was going to make that case for Canberra um, because Jack Whiten's back and Josh Hodgson are both back for Canberra. Yep. Um, yeah, I agree. I think uh, the Raiders, they'll probably lose by 50 now, but I reckon $4 or $1.90 for an 11 and a half start is good value. Like, I'm just I'm just going to bring up the Roosters team sheet. Surely they're missing. Like, because Radley's out. Radley's been suspended till like 2026. <laughs> 14 charges. Where's the fuck? Where's the team? Here we go. Team there. Yeah, Radley's gone. Crichton's gone. Two of their best players. I'm just seeing. Oh, Josh Morris comes back. Yeah, fuck. And they already had a ton of people out. Yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Still seemed final. I don't know what happened. Whether they got COVID at half, like against Broncos last week. It was great to watch, but um, the yeah, I agree. I think the Raiders are value. The other one, I think the Knights play Manly at home. They've got Caelan Ponger and Bradman Best back. Don't think it'll be enough, but there's a line there for 11 and a half. The Knights might be a sniff. Um, uh, if I was having a multi on the NRL this weekend, which of course I fucking am, uh, I would go Warriors uh, all up the Titans. Titans welcome back um, Taylor and Fafita. And uh, one of those, either the Raiders with the line or the Knights with the line. Or Penrith to win by 58, something like that. I'm not sure. Um, but you're taking the Bulldogs 35 and a half plus. <laughs> yeah. Brilliant, brilliant tipping. Uh, no AFL because Mardo knows most of that shit. And um, he got a multi last weekend. He was on the text to us uh, pretty regularly about that one saluting. Plus he got his uh, Perth racing multi up, the arsehole. So quick look at Super Rugby. Um, really good one on Saturday afternoon at 3.05 if you're around frame train. Uh, the Waratahs play the Crusaders. Um, Cr- Waratahs, $26. The Crusaders, $1.01. Uh, what about this line, Freyno? The Waratahs get 32 and a half. No, see, that's, what, that's one where I reckon that's value for the Crusaders. They're, they're that, they're, they can put a try on easier than Penrith can. <laughs> Maybe the Warriors and, should play the Bulldogs in some form of hybrid league <laughs> union game, uh, and and you get set, you get seven points for a try that's converted in union, not um, six. So uh, uh, thirty two and a half. I agree. Crusaders win that by sixty, maybe. Yeah. Uh, other games: Hurricanes, Western Force. Um, Hurricanes will win that over in New Zealand. Uh, Blues play the play the Brumbies. That's probably the closest. Uh, oh no, actually the Reds played the Chiefs up in Townsville. Uh, Reds with a couple of superstars out, I think, potentially. Not sure, haven't seen the team. But that's Saturday night at 7.45. So there's rugby galore. The other thing that you can make a bit of money on, Frono, is Premier Grade <laughs> Rugby. Last yeah, week... Who, who, um, who runs the market for it? Uh, Sports Bet and Neds. They only put it up yeah. at about... I think kickoff's about 3.05 or 3.10 every Saturday. I reckon the markets go up about 2.30. Mate, last week they put up... Um, brothers were playing Sunnybank at Sunnybank. Sunnybank are paying a dollar twenty-five. Brothers are four dollars. I was um, watching a few races and didn't get catch the first twenty minutes. I flicked it on. The brothers were up fucking like twenty-eight-seven. Obviously had yeah. a bit of on brothers, and ended up winning with a leg in the air. Uh, that paid four dollars. Um, there was another one. I think Bond beat someone last week. Uh, this weekend, I think it's a bit tougher. I haven't actually looked at the games. All I know is brothers play Bond at Brothers, uh, which will be a great game. But there is money to be made on Premier Rugby uh, if you're a gambling addict like you and I. Um, so I might even try and um, Instagram out some um, tips at about 2.30 this Saturday um, and try and jag ourselves a nice little multi. Have they got like a max bet? Or if you want to throw down, will they take it? Um, I, the most I've been able to have on Premier Grade Rugby one day, great story, uh, when uh, I had an uh, allegiance to Norths. Norths played uh, Bond and they put up $12 for Norths, but the poor people at Sportsbet didn't, under, didn't know that um, Norths had welcomed in Duncan Payer, I think Jack Tuttle and uh, uh, one other decent footballer. 
Um, and um, I might have had a small two hundred dollar wager on it. And uh, North oh. one's about thirty. Um, so after that, I think my account got uh, reduced a little bit on the Premier Grade rugby side of things because um, I wasn't able to get as much on on the on the weekend um, on Brothers as I would have liked. So, um, but I digress. But no, you can have a good wager on it and do a multi. It's great fun. Uh, and with Stan now, you can fucking watch them all. Or go down yeah, to your local yeah. club and buy a sausage and support your local club. A little advert there for Premier Rugby. Um, I think that's uh, I think that's about it, front Train. The other one I'm backing, how fucking good. How's this? I reckon over the last 52 weeks, uh, Phil Mickelson's probably played 26 tournaments. <laughs> I reckon 24 of those tournaments, he's been paying 50 to 100 to 1, and I've always had $10 on him because I just love Phil Mickelson. Now... Uh, he goes out and wins the PGA Championship, didn't have a dollar on him, and uh, pays 300 to 1. Um, so, I mean, good on him. He's a fucking legend. Those scenes were excellent. Um, the other good thing in golf is the Brooks Kepka Bryson DeChambeau rivalry, which is just fucking sensational to watch. Um, but this weekend, um, the golf, I am backing Abraham Answer, uh, who finished off brilliantly at the PGA last week. I think he shot four or five under in the final round. Abraham answer to win the Charles Schwab challenge. I think it's called over in America. So I'll be backing that as well. Uh, Frano, what's your best of the weekend? Oh, fuck. Um, it'll be, uh, apart let's from, go. Apart from the Bulldogs to beat the Panthers. What have you got? <laughs> Plus 35 and a half. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I'll go Savitiano. I'm going to go. I, I think that uh, I'll, I'll work out my strategy, my betting strategy, but I think it'll feature Savitiano. I think it's a good bet. Yeah, Huey Bowman, he'll bounce her out right in the right spot. All right, Marta will be back next week for everyone who listens for the, to the podcast, mainly for Marta, which, which is most people. Um, and we'll probably have our stockings filled with heaps of cash. Frame train, see what's, you what's next your week. Best? Hey? What's your best? What's your best? Uh, explosive, explosive Jack, definitely. Yeah. I think the Derby's a one act affair. What about Zaki on the weekend? Holy fucking oh. shit. How's this? How's this? Last time I backed Zaki was when it got beaten by Parts of Glory. Haven't been on it last oh. two starts. One, one by about 40 lengths combined. How good am I going? Inside at Randwick, I think. Little grey horse. Yeah. Son yeah. of a bitch. Um, yeah, mate, it's a superstar. Bring on the Cox Plate for it. I couldn't even tell you one other horse that will compete with it in a Cox Plate. Like, genuinely, who is it? Maybe Explosive Jack. Who knows? Maybe. But uh, outside of that, Zaki will be going around at Winks odds in the Cox Plate at this stage. Unless they bring over some international or it's pissing down rain and Sir Dragon Age just swims through it all. Anyways, we'll get there. Um, righto, Frame Train. Uh, until next week, let's find some winners. See you, Trav. Thanks, mate.